to our channel. If you're new here, thanks for checking us out. And if you've already liked and subscribed, we really appreciate it. And if you have not, please do so if you would like to continue watching our house journey. Um, this video is probably going to be on the shorter side. Um, I don't have a whole lot of updates for you all. We did um, have the plumbing inspection today, so it was approved, so we're clear on that, and I think electric is is the um, supposed to be inspected sometime next week, maybe. I'm hoping they were supposed to be out the same time plumbing was, but it didn't work out like that. Hardly anything ever works out the way it's supposed to around here, so I just, I, I just go with it now. Anyways, um, we got our back doors put in. You can kind of see it back there, but I'll show you all um, the whole setup in just a second. And let's see what else. We got the form built for the front porch. I say we, but I really mean Caleb and my daddy <laughs> built the form for it. And then Caleb and my daddy and Caleb's daddy filled it with rock. Monday they filled it with rock Monday and now all we got left to do is um, I think Caleb said he had to dig around the outside of it so that way it would be filled with concrete on the side sorry I'm looking at it I'm trying to remember what he told me he needed to do I don't know I'm not the concrete person I'm not the builder person I'm just the video person so He's probably thinking, well, you know, shouldn't you know what you're videoing? I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just videoing the process. That's what I do. <laughs> Not really the process either. I just, I video the process of the house being built. Not everything individually because I don't have the patience to sit here and video Caleb doing every little thing that he has done so anyways I'm getting off topic again but we're gonna try and pour the concrete to the porch this weekend and I said we I mean me and Caleb and my daddy probably and whoever else we can get to help us um, we are trying to do it as cheap as possible but we still want to get it you know we want it to last you know obviously we're not spending all this money for for it to mess up in a couple of years but anyways Caleb is doing what he thinks he needs to do for it so he's gonna dig around the outside of it and put some rebar in I think is what he said he has to do and um, I think there was a couple of other little things he said he needed to do I don't know but he's already got it all flattened out we've got four inches that's how thick the slab is gonna be and I guess that's it I guess that's all I've got to say because I can't remember I can't my train of thought is like a goldfish like it just bounces around everywhere. Um, my front door still not fixed. <laughs> we haven't had time to take it off. I decided I'm just going to paint the trim around it white, I guess. And I'm just going to take the door to her because it was like 200 more dollars than what it is for me to take it to her than it would be for her to come out here. So I'm just going to take the door off and take it to her shop at some point. And Tom, um, I think that's I think that's all I've got to share with you all. So I'm gonna hop off here and show you all some clips from our Labor Day little family fun day at the house, I guess. So, I'm pretty sure at this point I can just change the name of my channel to A Thousand Ways Building a House Can Go Wrong. Because I don't think anything has went according to plan since we've started this. But anyways, 
I want to show you all a little something that my lovely husband agreed to and bought. Um, little backstory. So the plumber guy failed to tell us that we needed the shower and tub combo before the inspector could come. So we didn't have one here. So the plumber was like, well, I'll tell you what. We got one here for $400. It's got a little crack in it, but we can fix it and I think it'll be fine. So Caleb being himself was like, yeah, okay. Let's get the cheap, let's get the cheap bathtub. You know, it'll save us $400, three or $400. I was like, you might want to get a pic, you might want to get a picture of it. Yeah. Who needs a picture? Who needs a picture of something you're going to put in your brand new house? Not Caleb. <laughs> so let me show you all what they done put in here. And before anybody says anything, no, it's not staying. We are going tomorrow night to pick out a brand new one to put in here. Really? Except this time, Caleb's gonna have to put it in because he doesn't want to tell the plumber that we don't want his bathtub. Though, I don't think I have any issues telling him what I think of it. But this is what it looks like, you guys. Oh, Watch out. Stupid. Crack there. Crack there. Crack there. Crack there. It literally looks like it was torn out of an abandoned house or a barn. <laughs> yeah, that's a spider one. What do you think of this bathtub, Carson? It is stupid. <laughs> My thoughts, exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. Chapter two of things that could go wrong. But that's just. What happens when you've got a husband that likes to save a buck every, every chance he can. But on the plus side, here is our beautiful French doors. You mean that? they are back doors. I said French doors. They are French doors. That's what these are called. Because they both open. Both sides open. Also, thought I should add, for anybody who might not know, like I did, there is a huge difference in in-swing and out-swing doors. Because when we went and priced all of our stuff, all the doors and windows and all that stuff when um, we started building the house. I didn't know that. And we need outswing doors because our kitchen cabinets are on this side. So they will be right behind the door. Which I mean, I guess we could have used in swing doors. But if Caleb ever asked, we could not. I have always imagined outswing doors. Anytime I imagined, you know, my French doors, they were outswing. So I could just open them, you know, and go outside instead of having to pull them open. I don't know. It's just not the same, same to me. So we went to the Lowe's, to the door section and talked to the guy that was at the counter there and he was like cheapest I can do is like $1,800 for outswing doors I'm like Caleb's like sorry we well, can't do that so I was like I could find them cheaper <laughs> story of my life you guys <laughs> I can always find things cheaper than Caleb usually I got on there and I found these doors for like $1,100 a piece, you know, for the set each. And um, 
I even asked Caleb, I was like, these are the right size, right? He was like, yeah, that's the right size. I don't even think he looked at it <laughs> because they were like three inches too short and about two or one to two inches not wide enough. But it's okay. It all turned out fine. You know, we just had to build down a little bit on the um, head headers on the headers of the doors. We just had to build down a little bit. Put a couple put a couple of one bys in there, and it's fine. So I'm kind of glad that I went with those and got the cheaper ones because. You can't really tell a difference when you're looking at them, or at least I can anyways, and that's all that really matters because I'm the one that's got to look at them every day. So, no harm, no foul. Not as bad as Caleb's little mishap. <laughs> um, but at least I've seen a picture of it before I bought them. <laughs> but anyways, that's all I wanted to share with you all on this week's building a house on a dime. <laughs> I will hope to see you all in the next video. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Y'all be safe and God bless. Are you getting it wet for him?
slow. <laughs> Easy when you come around. 
Because of the way you fall. Because of the way you fall. Go on your butt. I don't either. <laughs> Come back, Silas! <laughs> <laughs>